Hey, welcome back everyone. Temperature is still on the warm side. <laughs> That's not going to change anytime soon either. Check this out. 96 degrees right now. Look how beautiful it is out there though. You know what? It's hot. It's not ideal, but it still looks nice. Eh, you know what? That counts for something, right? Sure it does. All right. Here's the best part. Humidity is at 31%. Now, that's not so high that we're seeing feels like temperatures being any different from the air temperatures, but it's not so low that it's so dry we start to see increased fire risk. So you got that southerly wind, you got pressure that's pretty normal for this time of year, and we're seeing a little bit more uniform temperatures across the area. Up to 102 in Wink, 103 in Pecos, 108 in Big Bend. Overall, still pretty warm, still hot. But we're not seeing any of those heat warnings. As a matter of fact, notice all those heat warnings. They're more out toward El Paso and more out toward Dallas and Central Texas. We're kind of in the middle here and we're just Oh, we're not seeing any of it. And you know what? That's going to be one of the better case scenarios. What about the radar? Anything active really popping up here? As a matter of fact, no, other than a couple little radar glitches here and there, we're just actually seeing uh, very little cloud cover and, well, unfortunately, no rain chances either. Mm, and we'll take what we can get. 76 for Midland tonight, 77 for Big Spring. A little bit cooler up toward Hobbs, about 74. A little bit even cooler heading down toward Fort Davis at 71 and Marfa. 69. Not too bad, especially as we head into the evening time. Yeah, it's slightly above average for this time of year, but that's kind of what happens when you have those strong southerly winds kind of maintaining their grasp on our region. Out the door, yep, about 76. Southerly winds maintain about 10 miles an hour. No chances for rain. Coming back home tomorrow, yeah, as those winds pick up, temperatures are on the increase, 101. And you know what? No rain chances either. Plenty of sunshine. Just make sure that you're staying hydrated and staying in the shade, especially if you are outdoors for any extended period of time. Because I'm really not seeing any significant rain chances over the next couple of days. Check this out. Into Tuesday afternoon, maybe a quick little pop-up shower. It's going to be possible. I'm not looking at anything out of the ordinary. That's pretty typical for this time of year for us, though. We see those high elevation showers, thunderstorms. Wednesday, maybe a little bit of activity, a, a little bit closer to Seminole and to Hobbs, maybe just on the outskirts of our region. I'm not seeing anything too terribly widespread. Really, that weather pattern is showing high pressure kind of hanging out to the eastern side of the state. That's going to just basically allow that southerly flow to maintain hold on us, keep us warm, keep us very dry, all throughout the week and even into next week too. How hot are we talking, Jordan? Well, we're talking triple digits and upper 90s. And then maybe a slight cool down heading into the weekend. That's more so because we're starting to see a slight, very, very slight increase in cloud cover. Uh, that should drop us down, hey, a little bit back to more, a se more of a seasonable range. But you know what? Hey, it's going to get a lot hotter as these months go on. Alex? Jordan, up next, if you